Welcome to Electron Online, and here's another example of what the solution to, the, to a differential equation looks like. This is a very typical differential equation. Here we have the second derivative of x with respect to time plus some constant times x equals zero. So here we have a function x and the second derivative with respect to time of x. Hmm. It turns out whenever you see something like that, you realize that when you take the derivative of a sine function or the derivative of a cosine function twice, you get back the original function. For example, if I have, let's say, if x is equal to a times the cosine of, let's say, omega t, and then I take the derivative of that, so the dx dt, that will be equal to, well, the derivative of the cosine is the negative sine, so that would be a times the negative sine of omega t, times the derivative of the angle, which is omega, so this will give me the minus omega times a times the sine of omega t. So let's write that down. So dx dt is equal to minus omega times a times the sine of omega t. If I now take the second derivative of that, let's see what we get. We now take the second derivative, d squared x dt squared is equal to, again, the derivative of the sine is the cosine, so we have minus omega times a times the cosine of omega t times the derivative of the angle, which is omega, which means that the second derivative of x with respect to time is equal to minus omega squared a times the cosine of omega t. And notice that a times the cosine of omega t, and let's put parentheses around it, is equal to x to begin with, which means that the, the second derivative of x with respect to time, oops, don't need a square there, dt squared, is equal to minus omega squared times x. And that's, why we, that's what I mean by taking the first derivative of a cosine or sine function, and then the second derivative, you get back the original function. And that's the clue to solve an equation like this. So if you let x equal a times the cosine of omega t, and we plug that in here, we know that the second derivative of that with respect to time is equal to this. So we can say that minus omega squared times x, because that's equal to this, plus k over m times x is equal to 0, which means that we can say that k over m times x is equal to, bring that the other side, that's a positive omega squared times x, which means that therefore k over m must equal omega squared, or omega is equal to the square root of k over m. So that means that if we assume that omega is equal to the square root of k over m, we can then claim that the solution to this differential equation, which is x, can be written like this. And that's how we find the solution to this particular differential equation. So, again, I didn't show you a particular technique, but I did show you that sometimes when you see this, you may recognize, ah, if the second derivative of a function x plus some constant times the function is equal to zero, the solution will be either the cosine or the sine of omega t. And it doesn't matter, we could have called it the cosine, we could have called it the sine, either way it would have given us the correct solution to this particular differential equation. And again, to emphasize that the solution to a differential equation in itself is a function of t. So if you want to emphasize that, we can write that x, which is a function of t, can be written as a constant, a, times the cosine of omega times t. And so there's another way of writing the very same thing, just emphasizing that the solution is a function of the variable t, and the function is x, and that's how it's done.